Welcome to Ramadan Health Guide. My name is Amna Taqi and I'm an associate nutritionist. The aim of the show is for us to be able to provide you with all the information, knowledge and skills that you need to be able to improve your health both in the month of Ramadan and also outside the month of Ramadan. And it's very important for us to know this information Um, especially when we're constantly bombarded with all different types of information about food, diet and nutrition. That's why this program will hopefully improve your awareness of what are the things that you can do to improve your health in the long run. Um, Today's episode is slightly different because we'll be going through frequently asked questions that I get asked regularly as a nutritionist um, about fasting um, and about the month of Ramadan in general. So, The first question is, should I eat suhoor? Um, As a nutritionist, yes, I would advise you to have suhoor because that's an important meal um, that will give you nutrients that keep you going for the rest of the day. So definitely have suhoor, even if it's um, something small. Uh, There's a whole episode about suhoor um, in this program, so refer back to that. Next question is, should I have soup with my iftar well yes if you do like um, soup it's a great way of preparing your body for food intake Um, and it's a great way to get vitamins um, from vegetables that are found in soup so if you do like soup then by all means have it the next question is what should i break my fast with well it really depends on what you like but it's always great to um, Break your fast on a type of food that increases your blood uh, glucose levels and increases your energy levels quite quickly. So that's something like dates, for example, which are already recommended or something like a glass of juice um, just to keep up your hydration as well. That would help you with breaking your fast. Um, now another question is, will I lose weight when I fast? Um, It will really depend on the individual and their overall consumption and their overall dietary um, intake and the amount of energy that they um, intake when they they do break their fast. Some people, um, if they consume less energy, um, they might lose weight. Other people, for example, actually see a completely opposite effect during the month of Ramadan where they actually gain weight. And that could be because the amount of energy that they consume is too much. But don't necessarily approach this month as a month where you want to lose weight or that this is a diet because that's not really the aim of uh, fasting. Uh, Our final question is, will I get dehydrated if I fast? Um, If not enough water is consumed in the hours where you break your fast, then yes, you uh, you might become dehydrated. And that's why to stay hydrated is very important. We have a whole episode um, about hydration during times when uh, you're fasting, but it's very important to try and drink as much water and intake as much fluid as you can during the times when you have broken your fast. That's it for today's episode. Um, Thank you for joining us and Master Alma.